How you really feel? Right. Even though you didn't get you one of those big tucker ring things, and things like that, <laughs> you still feel like? Yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you, I don't, I don't feel it. I, I miss it. <laughs> really, I did. I, I miss them, them turkey. Well, I don't know if it was turkey night. Me and, me and Doug were talking about that last night, you know, about people putting talking about, you know, turkey legs. And if a turkey or a, a, if a rooster is this high, you ain't eating no rooster. You eating an emu. <laughs> and I think they need to change the package name on, on some of this stuff in the grocery store, the produce store. Because we're really not eating chicken, y'all. We're probably eating like ostrich. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When, you, when the, the chicken leg is bigger than my arm, uh, we ain't really eating chicken. <laughs> I just missed some of y'all up. You still gonna eat it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say to y'all, I appreciate you all coming, first of all and foremost. I thank you for being here tonight. Um, I know that the weather outside is kind of like wet and gloomy and whatever and everything, but you know, when you're inside, it's, thank God you're inside, you're, you're inside. You're right. Does you know, that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're inside, you ain't wet. Well, we could cut a hole in the ceiling if you get rained on, like, but I'm just saying. <laughs> but I'm glad to see you. I am so glad to see you guys. This is the third year we're doing this thing. And God has blessed us to be here, and I'm thankful to be here. Amen. 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 I'm going to do a little bit of amen stuff, because some of y'all ain't going to make a church. I already know that. Oh. <laughs> I'm have a church. I'm going to have that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to go through that too. I'm going to do all that and everything. We take communion. We've got real wine. <laughs> I brought some crackers from my house. <laughs> Been there about, you know, about nine months, good and stale. So it's <laughs> it perfect. Back in the day. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. I want you to get the real taste of the tablet. Yeah. <laughs> First of all and foremost, like God, like wives, I want to give thanks to God. God, we thank you for allowing us this opportunity. Always, once and again, God, to bless me with the gift that you give me to be a blessing to others. I appreciate you so much for waking us up this morning and always, God. We all adore you. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you for the gathering. We thank you for love and fellowship for friends who have come from near and far. And those who want to come and share love and receive love, we bless you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. I probably, you know, I'm just wondering, is that the first time all y'all don't pray in a long time? Because <laughs> y'all say amen and like, amen. <laughs> Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah. probably don't know if y'all call their name. Jesus, you like, do I know you? <laughs> Excuse me. I want to give a big thanks to Brother Ricky Thad Thrash for allowing us to be here tonight. Thank <laughs> y'all so many of you. I thought I'd allow him to see something within me and, and said, man, let's do this, man. Let's just bring some laughter and some love to people, man. And while he was yet renovating, you know that Ricky, Rick is professional. He's a... <coughs> <laughs> 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 yeah. What is it? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, let me put it like this. His business don't have a layoff. All right. <laughs> He's one of God's great morticians and internment needs. You see him. So I'm so glad for one thing also that you all didn't come in here cast a shawl. All right, now. For real. Watch your steps. Watch your steps. His place of business is right across the street. Slip, fall, we just roll you right on in. He has a discount rate. <laughs> You already drift, boy. You, you know, <laughs> boy, you out on the end. Maybe let brother walk, brush your head. I'm just saying. So I'm just saying, be mindful of the fact that that's what he does. You know. And I said to myself, man, if I was ever, you know, want to be a businessman, it's two businesses that I would like to be a part of. You know, it's grocery store, mortuary. Really? What I feel like this? You don't eat? I'm gonna see you. <laughs> You can eat, and I'm still going to see you. I'm just saying. I mean, somebody got to do it. Somebody, somebody got to do it, you know. And uh, we got to go that way. I'm just saying. Why is he talking about the dead? 
I know when some of y'all say, mm, pay the $10 here and talk about that. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just trying to help get you prepared. You know, I'm just trying to set this atmosphere, not the atmosphere, but get your souls and things ready for <laughs> what's to come. Mm -hmm. like, we ain't in no hurry. No, I'm just saying. Uh, I know that. I, I hear that a lot of times. We, even, even us who were Christian man, we've been in church, we like, I want to see Jesus. I'm like, I not do, yet. but I ain't in no hurry. No, not yet. I ain't in no hurry. You know what I'm I, I do. I'm going to see him one day, but I ain't in no hurry. I ain't in no hurry. I'm just saying. I mean, I, if I get caught up in the rapture, it's fine with me. It's just, yes, when you come back and I just walk in like eating off, I don't need nothing. That's good too, but I ain't in no hurry. So I'm thanking him likewise because now it's been a year. God has blessed me and kept me to be here. Some of you all already know that what God has kept me through and went through some things, man. And you know, um, young man like myself. Thank God, you know. Is it somebody that already had alcohol in you for you can? <laughs> trying to see who it is I can just go in on them. Forgive <laughs> <laughs> well, God, he's kept me, man, through a triple bypass and all, man, and I'm glad I had the bypass, but he didn't pass me by. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, so we got back up, man, within a couple of months and just doing our thing, man. I'm like, really? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to actually thank God and dedicate this night, likewise, to those who um, that we lost this year, likewise. That video that you see, that you saw, likewise, God allowed me to be able to, to be a blessing. He was something he dropped in my spirit two years ago, and then I got a chance to say, I want to just give something back to your hometown. But when you hear this, you don't necessarily have to think about Hogan'sville if you're not from Hogan'sville. I want you to think about your hometown. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Take you to that nostalgic place where you think about it. Now, if you may have a rough childhood in your hometown, you can think about it still. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, it helped make you to be who you be. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Some of y'all must have got some big butt whoopings. <laughs> yes. I'm just saying. Yes. <laughs> then I'm mama. I can talk about yes. what we talk about. I can, I can say it. We did. I'm just saying. We, we, we got what we need to get You know, when I came up. Um, what we don't have nowadays no more is big mamas. We ain't got no more big mamas. You know, y'all call them nanny now, and G mama, and all that. You know, you, know, you got these cool grandma now. Yeah. They so young, cool. they young. We had big mama. Right, yes, yes. We had the big mama that when they walked the floor, their feet dragged. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When the feet dragged, and our big mama back in our days, so they could put. The whole can of snuff do one side of their mouth. That's right. That's right. And then it sit there for about all day. Yeah. Not get drunk, then sit there. Mm -hmm. I get. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And when Big Mama came on the scene, thing got right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anybody that had done something wrong within the house, if we were children or whatever, one child done something wrong, everybody got to be. That's right. That's right. Everybody got to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, now that y'all are. Oh, yeah. I was everybody. Y'all didn't have no real big mama then. <laughs> I had some G mamas. <laughs> <laughs> I had, we had big mama. When I say we had big mama, I'm saying because, you know, the African proverb said it takes a vision to raise a oh, child, yeah. whatever. Oh, yeah. That's what we had oh, yeah. when I came up, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. um, that somebody else brought my mama. To whoop you. That's right. mm -hmm. And you couldn't go around talking about, uh, I ain't do nothing. Have a line on me. <laughs> <laughs> now even just to say the word line, yeah. when I came up, that was that was like considered That's cursing. That's right. <laughs> you know, when I got to the age of something that I could be away from around my mom and brother, I said, man, you turn a lie. Kind of good. <laughs> we can only say you tell the story. Right, right, right. Stop telling stories on me. You telling stories on me. 
Story was like Fable, dude. Yeah. <laughs> story? <laughs> See, these kids can say that now. These kids can get away with so much right now because everybody want to be a friend. That's right. Them up. That's right. You know, we keep them so 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 loaded with all the uh, the new everything. There's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with wanting your child and everybody to have good things, but in order for them to appreciate what it is, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You got to make them understand that this didn't come easy. That's right. That's right. It didn't come easy. That's right. Kids now they understand we're blessed to be in a position right now where we don't have to wear hand me downs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, hand me. Y'all know about hand me downs? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, y'all yeah. know where y'all grow up with and stuff? <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, well, y'all didn't because y'all had big world brothers. <laughs> y'all brothers were big world brothers. <laughs> Somebody calling me out. <laughs> I sh should I have said you had kidney problems? <laughs> I'm just saying, you know what? I mean, I went through my stage. I did too. I went through my stage. I went through my stage. <laughs> I've been delivered. <laughs> I went through my stage. I've been delivered. Um, and some of you guys, y'all, y'all looking like, you know. They haven't been delivered. Yeah, they haven't been delivered. Okay, I got you. No, don't go away. You give about four or five a night. Your mama turned the matches over. Or whatever. <laughs> you know. Horrible. Oh, God. Yeah. God, God bless you. If you had like nine, six, seven, eight oh, brothers. Lord. Oh, man. And all you, like three of y'all in the same bed. Mm -hmm. Then you got that. That wasn't me. <laughs> that wasn't me. That was not me. I didn't. Uh -uh. What is that wet spot right there? It leaked over him. That ain't, you know, but but that's that's the, that's what life. But the togetherness that kind of closes the man and kept us close and it kept us, you know, kept us in that real place, man. That we can love one another. We we still talk to one another. We didn't have to be like eight feet away from each other in the next room, texting each other. Uh -huh. That's right. Uh -huh. Where you at? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dinner ready, be there in about eight. <laughs> no knocking on the door, no hollering, hey man, what's up, man? Texting. Yeah. Everything we do now, yeah. we just, you know, we, we right here. We all right. like this. I mean, I'm sitting next to you, like, mm -hmm. what you doing? I'm looking at you texting me. <laughs> <laughs> what number we on right now, iPhone? Okay. One. Right. <laughs> just about. Ten now, right? Eleven. Eleven. No, level. Level. We on level now. Level. What did it start out with? Just iPhone. <laughs> just iPhone, right? Went from iPhone to uh, smartphone. Mm -hmm. Smartphone. Mm -hmm. Smartphone. Listen to what they said, y'all. Smartphone. They, they said it. We dumb then. Mm -hmm. We must be dumb when the phone is yeah. smart. Yeah, for I'm just saying. Yeah. In this age of technology, man, they, we, we buy into the hype. Of all the advertisement, whatever they say, we go, we begin, we get into it, you know. And they put this big word, only, on it. You know, you, know, you can buy your brand new iPhone 12 for only 15, only 1500 It's under $1,600, only $1,599. And you like, I got to get a new iPhone. I need a new iPhone. How many cameras you got by now? What, four or five on one phone? Six cameras on one phone. You can make your own motion picture movie. Right. <laughs> right. Really? Right. And our day when we came up, man, I'm going to go back to when we first started. We had a rotary phone. Rotary. <laughs> it took about 15 seconds to dial one number. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Six. You tired by the time you don't got to go out. Why you call? Don't mess around and dial the wrong number. Like, ah! You gotta start all the way up with you. Shut up. Oh, that's what you mean. Man. Yep. I mean, I was so thankful that, 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 that when it got to the point where, oh, let me go back to this. And, and during that time when you had the rotary phone, the cord was part about what, five, ten feet? Not you didn't stand like right here and talk. If you go over the house, you're gonna pull that ball. I propose 
that somewhere in the archives of telephone, we'll pull them back out for our young folk. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Break them in with the mm -hmm. rotaries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My granddaughter said, what would you do? I showed her something and I said, she said, Papa, what is it? I said, it's called a cassette. <laughs> Who? <laughs> I said, got music on it. She went to find a mash. <laughs> swipe. You can't swipe a cassette, baby. <laughs> she went to find a swipe a cassette. You know, but when I'm talking that kind of lady, it's almost like the point that you know, you're going on in prison. I, I, we think, I think, I'm thankful for technology and the advancement of things, but I think we have allowed technology to separate us yeah, that's true. too much. Yeah. Way too much. Boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. Y'all sitting next to each other on the baby. How you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. How you doing, sweet? Good. <laughs> what? <laughs> what you looking at? <laughs> I'm looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> what you got on? Then this gonna be the woman like, turn around, fool. You see me, right? <laughs> It gets to that point, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but in the car, I'm serious. We'd be in the car riding and that kind of thing. We just, you know, we just lose track of it. I want to get, I wish we could get back to that time when we just appreciate it. Simple thing in life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do realize that, you know, that, you know, things are advancing. Yeah, that's, that's all good. That's all fine and good. It is good to grow up with things, you know what I'm saying? But we can't forget from which we kind of we started to repeat some things that we do. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You're like, you trying to preach. I ain't trying to preach. <laughs> I'm doing one of the hoop modes on you. <laughs> um, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Don't play with it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We need to go back. Oh, <laughs> to the day. You fit girl have a straightening comb. <laughs> wow. Burn your ear. Whatever you sit in, the, the straightening comb behind on the fire. Yeah. And then you just sit there until it gets about hot ass. Hot, hot. Hey, yo. Yes, sir. Hey, Yes, sir. And then you want to get there and tell you, be still. Yes, sir. <laughs> and you be sitting there. I, I, I mean, I, my, my heart goes out to y'all ladies. Like, yeah, talking, man. God forbid we're going to cop that ear. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then, I don't know, back then felt like, you know, be still. You got my skin on there. I'm just saying. Got my skin back. Got my skin back, mama. Yeah, mama. <laughs>
you know. He came on during the commercial was Soul Train. Doing Soul Train yeah. come on. Now the Soul Train would come in the commercial come on and then they advertise the blowout kit. Mm -hmm. But if you know already got somebody whose hair is already naturally, I mean yeah. just in place, mm -hmm. just right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at it like man, I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> and most of us, us guys, truth be told, we just do stuff we don't really like to read the instructions. We just well, oh, I got it. Ain't that the truth? That'll preach. That will preach. Well, you really don't. You know, so, you know, I'm putting it in. You know, unbeknownst to my grandma, she didn't know what I was doing. I'm, you know, I'm gonna stay locked in the bathroom a long time. She thought I was constipated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in there trying to get me a blowout. Kid. Oh, man, Afro. Because, you know, guys around here were having Afro, you know, got me Tony Glass on my head, Afro. And when the wind just blow it in the head, just bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a little, you know, I just want a little something, something. They had a little, you know, it thinned out as they got going, you know, they, they got the pick, they got the little Afro pick just showing off, man, just. <laughs> All in my face, just. <laughs> like, so? Give me about 15 minutes. <laughs> I went in the bathroom, man, and I put that relaxer, I went in my head, man.
All of us know our, our homeboy, uh, Junior, Gabe. Uh, he didn't get drunk. <laughs> he carried his beer. Well, he drunk on the same beer for about eight hours. Like he just, <laughs> when he bought it, he just walked around and ah! So by the time he finished it, down here, it's, it's, it's hot. <laughs> but I never seen nobody at the time when I was coming up could get so drunk that their house could be right there. <laughs> and it took them two days to get to home. <laughs> <laughs> he was studying <laughs> like a physics. You know, he's just, <laughs> like the house gonna come to him. <laughs> and he would take three steps forward and about six back and go. And he's just smiling. <laughs> I watched him do this, y'all, for about 40 minutes. Shame on me, right? I should have went and got in hand and helped him. I did. I took him right up there and turned him around like a hopper right there. He said, Hey, ball. Ah, no, my house right there. I said, ah, Why can't you get that in? Missed him so much because of the fact he was so real about things. He could tell he was he was funny when he wasn't trying to be funny. Mm -hmm. All right. You ever met people like that? Yeah. There are some folks that try to be so funny, man. They just tell this stuff, talk so much, man. I was replacing everything, <laughs> and they left me on the job. <laughs> Ain't that funny? Like no. no. <laughs> really? And then we won't be truthful and tell them. <laughs> yeah, you were funny. You were so funny. But you tell your other girlfriend, she, she got a nerve. Yeah. Yeah. But this guy, man, he would tell stuff, man. He was saying things to me. He told me one day, said, boy, don't you ever get on no motorcycle with Leroy. No. I don't know what you're talking about, Leroy. I, don't, I like motorcycle, but I ain't. Why would I get no more? He said, man, don't you ever ride no motorcycle with Leroy on the back of a motorcycle. So I inquired, why? You know what? I'm gonna ride with Leroy. I've seen you a ride. You know, you know, little friend, right? I've seen him ride. And y'all who ride most likely know when y'all really get it, you own it. Yeah, you gotta lay on the ground with it. <laughs> so he's on the back of the motorcycle with Leroy. On the back of the motorcycle. And Leroy was going on the curb. Laying down, you know, one knee down there. Junior didn't realize that you posted go with, go with him. Right. <laughs> right. So while he leaned, Junior trying to hold him and bring him back down. <laughs> you know what's going to happen, right? Yes. It's going to be a nasty wreck. Yes, it is. Team Miller Rod laid with Leroy, they laid in the curry. He said, Every while I was laying, man, and Leroy had got in about the third, five years. He said, He said, He said, Every he said, We were so close on the ground that when we came up, I had gravel in my pocket. <laughs> Didn't get back on another motorcycle. <laughs> he wouldn't even ride my motorcycle. 
me. <laughs> so you wanna rap? I'm good. Oh no, I'm good. You need the curry too. <laughs> but my childhood, man, I, I, I cherish my childhood days, man. That's why you saw me do the video because it was just a tribute we paying back to my hometown and whatever, man. But growing up in, in this town, man, friends and things that I had still have. You know, I was allowed to to go and visit them and stay with them, and we grew up, man. And like I said earlier, I should have brought this part in. I like why that, you know, when the village take the village to raise a child that the parent was allowed to chastise you. You know, you lived on one side of the street, but that parent over there could chastise you. And you straightened up if you saw adults, adults. When I did that, likewise, I had a good friend who was here tonight, bless his heart. I, you know, I always want to do the weekend because I want to go spend the night with people. You know, man, I'm going to come spend the night with y'all. No, I'm coming to y'all house. Because it's the heat y'all. Y'all be having fun. Y'all. <laughs> so I want to go with my friend's house. Bless his heart. One of my friend's house. My partner kept him when we went up there, man. And we was real close. We, we, we stayed in the woods. From sun up to sundown, you know, just stay in the woods. Cause that's basically stay because uh, grown for total stay out though. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and I go spend a night with a man. I used to go spend a night, man. And it was my, I thought it was, you know, it's a privilege to go spend a night. But I was so glad my grandma finally let me get a chance to go spend a night. Man, I'm going to spend a night. Come go spend a night. Give me the, ah! Hey, I'm so fun. Got my little brown paper sack. <laughs> Got my clothes in. We stayed. In those apartments you saw, where I said nine be sons at home, that's where I was born. Up to the northeast of that is where they live. So I'm like, man, we go, nah, I mean, you, you would think I'm going to Disneyland. I'm going to spend the night, man. You know? So I said, I'm going up here, man, spend the night, man. And get up in there, man. And they had a lot of brothers and sisters. You know, big wholesome family. Love having fun, man. And, um, he don't mind me telling me, he, he, you, know, he, you know, his mom and Nick, they was, she was the last of the big moms. Real big moms. Real big moms. Let me explain for you. She was the kind that come up the hall, drag. She didn't say, get somewhere and sit down. She said, sit down. All right? She was that kind. So it was all sitting in the kitchen. He can tell, you know, that's true, that's, that's true, right? That's the truth. Ain't right, man. She's telling the truth. We was all in the kitchen. Well, they was in the kitchen. <laughs> playing cards. You know, just friendly playing cards. I was sitting over in the corner. Because I had heard him mom say, You better not be in there playing cards. 